Hello everyone. <clears throat> I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing the mechanical injury, and this is the seventh lecture of the series. And in this lecture, I will be discussing contusion. I will start my discussion on the injuries which are caused by blunt weapon. And this will be the first lecture on contusion or bruise. The learning objective of this lecture will be that I will be revised and hurriedly, hurriedly go through the classification of injuries. And the most important classification is the, which is caused by causative agent. That is, we classify the injuries depending upon the causative agent. And in this lecture, I will discuss the injuries caused by blunt force, blunt object or blunt weapon. And they are the bruise, abrasion and lacerations. Then I will also discuss the cause and effect relationship that what a blunt object will have the effect or will it appear. That is the some important aspects I, I will also go through, that is what is contusion and bruise, these are two words used. Then what about the size of the bruise, what about the shape of the bruise and the appearance of the bruise. <clears throat> so going through the classification of injuries, as the injuries are classified, the legal, that is the depending upon the Kassar and the law, which is prevalent in our country, the Pakistan, on the manner of infliction, that is, it is homicidal, suicidal, or accidental, then upon the causative agent. And causative agent, the, the injuries can be mechanical, that is, certain mechanics are involved, or other injuries. The mechanical injuries, depending upon the uh, factor that it is a single causative agent, the injuries will be by blunt weapon, it will be abrasion, bruise, or laceration. And by sharp edge weapon, they will be incised or stab wounds. And when the multiple causative factors, they can be uh, blast injuries, then firearm injuries, firearm injuries of smoothboard weapon, rifled weapon, and the rifled weapon can be low velocity, high velocity, and having short barrel or long barrel. So they will have a different impact in relation to injuries. Then the other injuries like thermal injuries, that is hot or cold injuries. The hot injuries by the hot uh, dry flame or hot fluid, hot liquids, or the cold as the frost bites and other cold injuries are uh, will be discussed. Then the electrical injury, either it is the natural uh, lightning or artificial light, artificial current, that is maybe high voltage, low voltage, and then the contact of the individual may be loose contact or firm contact. Similarly, the radiation injuries, they are either the natural, uh, ultraviolet or ionizing, or they are artificial, which may be ionizing and non-ionizing. Similarly, the chemical injuries by the corrosives, and corrosive can be strong acids or strong alkalis. So this is a overview of the uh, classification because we have now have to discuss the injuries depending upon the causative agent. So injuries caused by the blunt forces or blunt object or blunt weapon, they are bruise, abrasions and lacerations. Bruise or contusion. This is the appearance, picture of the appearance of the bruises. And bruise or contusion is basically an area of discoloration due to extra vestation of blood in the sub-epidermal layers of the skin due to rupture of small blood vessels by the application of blunt force and without breach in the integrity of the tissue or covering of an organ. 
regarding the cause and effect relationship which is also called as the cause and effect cause or appearance relationship the cause is the forceful forceful impact over any soft tissue with a blunt force or with forceful contact or combination of both that is that may be impact or that may be the pressure or the firm contact and the appearance or the effect is the area of discoloration at the site of impact so the cause and appearance that is there is sudden and by sudden and severe application of pressure to the soft tissues due to the impact or forceful contact or combination of those there will be area of discoloration few important facts which are to be discussed and should be remembered in bruise the word bruise and contusion we will understand what the two words mean regarding the shape of the bruise size of the bruise and the appearance of the bruise that is appearance immediately or delayed or other factors so the bruise and contusion although these words are used synonymously but there is a difference bruise is said to be present when it is visible through the skin and contusion is said to be there when it is not visible through the, through the skin like contusion of the kidney contusion of the liver or intestines so that means skin is bruised and liver is contused and this is a contusion of the brain regarding the shape of the bruise as bruise is due to extravasation of the blood and the extravasation is due to the rupture of the capillaries so the shape of the bruise is variable but sometimes it may correspond to the shape of the weapon hence there is no definite shape of the contusion regarding the size of the bruise the size of the bruise can vary from pin head to a large frank hematoma pin head size is called petechi and few petechi combine to show ecchymosis and larger size is called bruise and still bigger when frank hemorrhage is seen is called hematoma regarding the appearance of bruise fresh bruise may not show any color but it is a painful swelling but sometimes there is ectopic bruising that is the appearance of bruise away from the site of impact or delayed bruising that is the bruised area is much deeper and after a few days it is going to elicit or become visible through the skin so regarding the ectopic bruising sometimes the extravasated blood travels along the tissue lines in the dependent parts for example if the injury is on the forehead and due to the effect of the gravity the blood will flow down and will show around the eye and this is the classical example so it flows down under the effect of the gravity and sh show at distant site this is known as ectopic bruising and like i have given the example the blunt trauma to the head the blood will gravitate to the eyes and it will show black eye this is the diagrammatic representation and this is the actual picture you can see the black eye this is another picture so the delayed bruising sometimes there is extravasation of blood in very deep tissues and it will take some time to become visible to the superficial surfaces and due to this time lapse in appearance the bruise become visible later it is known as 
the delayed bruising. So this is a delayed bruising which was present in the deeper tissues and then become visible after two days. These are other pictures showing the delayed bruising effect. So thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz. In the next lecture, we'll continue the continue. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar. Thank you very much.